Unlicensed care homes are on the rise in Hawaii, and state lawmakers say they could be harming our kupuna. Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. And I'm Robert Kikaulu. There's an ongoing effort now to shut them down. Island News reporter Brenton Awa joined us live tonight. Brenton? Robert, the reason some lawmakers have this at the top of their agenda is because it could affect many of Hawaii's elderly. According to the state, one in four residents here will be 60 years or older within the next two years. There's an estimated 2,000-plus legal care homes in Hawaii. However, lawmakers say many others are using a loophole in the system to remain unlicensed. It's, it's kind of scary if you're unlicensed. You can pretty much do what you want. Representative John Mizuno calls unlicensed care homes a danger to society. These are people that are just renting houses and filling them with 5, 10, 15 people. They're not licensed. They're providing home care or they get home care services for them. They pay them a fee and at the end of the day, they're just making a ton of money. Some of them are also able to avoid inspections. A bill introduced by the representative would change that. It would give the state health department more power to investigate any care facility reported to be operating without a license. It is a problem that goes from financial to health care to everything. The state would also be able to fine unlicensed facilities at least $1,000 per day, although we're told that fine could be significantly more depending on the situation. At a briefing today, industry insiders criticized current care home regulations as being weak. They even questioned why follow state rules and those who they accuse of breaking them can get away with it. You know, a lot of our foster homes are saying, once this bill doesn't pass, I'm going to close my home and open an unlicensed. If this bill does not pass, they're looking at the other side saying, I'm done. Why should I pay thousands of dollars to be licensed and have liability insurance and have a certain amount of patients? Why don't I just go unlicensed and get 10 patients if I want and make as much money as I want and not pay taxes? Representative Mizuno going on to explain that at least three people have died within the past year due to transfer trauma while in unlicensed facilities in Hawaii. Insiders pointing out some home care agencies lack experience. They do not have any idea about the principles of care. Lawmakers are pushing to prevent malpractice before it affects more people. By 2035, it's estimated a third of Hawaii residents will be over the age of 60. And the bill we referred to in this story has already passed through both the House and the Senate. It now needs to get through conference as a last hurdle before potentially being sent to the governor for his signature. Live in studio.